A new model predicts that more than 410,000 people in the U.S. could die from the coronavirus by January 1st. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Joshua. The Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluations model also shows that efforts like universal masking could cut the number of fatalities by more than half. But the group says if all restrictions are eased, the death toll could be much higher. Today, a bright spot in Hamilton County as the number of positive COVID patients in the ICUs at local hospitals is at the lowest we've seen since mid-May. But tonight, News Channel 9's Stephanie Lachance shows us a trend in the right direction doesn't mean much for those patients' families as they fight for their lives against the virus. Stephanie. Good evening, Latricia and Josh. Well, the Hedrick family is anxious, anxiously awaiting to see their father and their husband again. He's a patient here at CHI Memorial and is in the ICU. He's been battling with it for the past eight days. Today, his family told me he is more than just a statistic. I'm lost without him. He's my soulmate. He's my best friend. He is everything to these kids. Chastity Hedrick's husband, Billy, found out he had COVID-19 on August 18th. After nine days of dealing with symptoms, he said to his wife, I can't breathe. He's 43 years old and has no underlying health conditions. He's been in the ICU for eight days now and now is 100% on life support. I fear that he's scared or he feels alone because we feel alone. According to the Hamilton County Health Department, local hospitals saw a peak of patients in the ICU in the first few days of August at 40. As of today, there are only eight patients in the county's ICUs. Billy is one of them. The pain is unimaginable. Chastity says they took things seriously when the lockdown first started, but then noticed their attitude toward the pandemic had changed. More relaxed with it and don't be relaxed with it because the relaxing attitude that everyone's had, if we hadn't had that, it might have saved his life. The Hedricks want everyone to learn from their situation and know that this can hit close to home, even when the numbers are going in the right direction. Don't ever feel like it's not real, COVID's real. at six, I'm going to show you the ongoing battle, battle that hospitals have with how to communicate with COVID-19 ICU patients' relatives. Reporting live in Hamilton County, I'm Stephanie Lachance, News Channel 9. Thank you, Stephanie. The Hedericks are also encouraging people to continue to abide by the mask mandate that was extended just yesterday until October 30th.